hippie Vladimir Putin and their acoustic attempt to avoid bombing Syria. As if we didn't look impotent, impotent enough already. They forget that if you don't whip out your bombs once in a while to show everybody they're the biggest no one will believe. And again, Christina, I do apologize. That incident will not happen. public indecency don't understand the way the world works. Anyone who's been to prison understands that on your first day, you either beat the crap out of somebody or you become somebody's bitch. And as I've said time and time again, I will not be anyone's bitch again. <laughs> now that doesn't mean we necessarily have to bomb Syria. Either they have chemical weapons, but there are other enticing prospects that we can consider. <laughs> now, the bleeding heart liberals will cry foul. They'll say these countries haven't done anything, but that's besides the point. We're not using them. Would you miss them? Admit it, until this moment, you didn't even know that half these countries exist. <laughs> and it's not like we have to bomb all of them. Admittedly, this one is a little too small to su uh, suffice on its own, but certainly no more than two or three. And there's lots of options here. Diana doesn't have any oil, therefore doesn't have any purpose, and it would serve as a nice fuck you to the French. Always a plus. <laughs> New Zealand, probably the only way we're going to get out of the 12 part Simulillion film, which will save us money every year. <laughs> Canada, I think we can all agree that if this country was going to become relevant, it would have done so by now. <laughs> Mouton, my personal favorite. Small, non English speaking, best of all. Buddhist. It's always best to go for the countries not only can't, but probably won't defend themselves. <laughs> of course, bombing Bhutan isn't going to solve all of Syria's problems. I know. Assad is a mass murderer. He's killed thousands of his own people. He's killed so many on such a small scale of time. It's actually somewhat surprising that the U.S. isn't the one that installed him in the first place. <laughs> But once again, this is a problem we can work through. We're not really upset he's killed his own people. They're Middle Eastern people, not the real kind. So we're just upset about the how. He's doing with chemical weapons we don't approve. I'm sure we can work this out. He'd love other weapons. We could trade him for nuclear weapons, which we have no problem with. He'd love that. We can help him out of everybody with this. Or failing that. Here's an idea. Why don't we just hire him? It's not, you can't tell me that we don't have a position for a psychotic mass murderer. I mean, our Secretary of the Interior was pretty much created to kill American Indians, and come to think of it, our last few secretaries have been somewhat lackluster in this effort. Perfect. Now, once Assad is successfully promoted away from Syria, we will be able to install a potentate to our own liking. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah.